What is good, guys? It's your boy Stock J here with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about um, AMC stock. I'm going to be talking about a technical analysis of AMC, where I see the stock going. I'm going to talk about what happened on Friday. I'm going to talk about things that the mainstream media has been saying, some interesting pieces of data. I'm going to talk about what Charles Payne just said regarding the squeeze. And I'm going to end by talking about my prediction for Monday and the upcoming future for AMC. With that said, then I'm going to do a very, very brief technical analysis. For my technical analysis, I'm going to talk about where AMC actually went and what actually happened towards the end and before i get started guys i have to mention one quick thing first of all i'm not a financial legal or taxation expert so don't take this as financial legal or taxation advice this is all for entertainment purposes only also if you can please smash that like button if you want to see more videos like this it not only benefits me but benefits the entire ape community as a whole all right guys so let's get on with the technical analysis all right amc started down low at the 31 dollars 88 range and where it tested the 32 dollar line of support it did have a good 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 run up to the 34 dollar range and it did test that level of resistance before it began to drop and test the 33. now what happened well we know that amc had a strike price it had over 30,000 call options with the strike price of 34 dollars a share and the hedge funds had to do whatever they can to bring it below that because they did not want to see that happen you also have to account for the amount of day traders that come in and the people that have been paper handing so that may play a small role but i think that the big role came from the fact that there has been so many things going on considering that 14 million shares were borrowed and shorted just on friday and that's why the short interest was up to almost 20 percent which is absolutely insane the, the stock has been heavily heavily shorted 19 percent 19.03% short interest. That's crazy. The utilization has gone a little bit down, but the shares on loan did go up to 111 million. That's insane by what has been going on. So you can't forget about the fact that 66% of the trades on AMC are happening on these dark pools. Now, 66% is a very, very high number because we're super used to seeing 60 to 70 percent we see it all the time and we obviously become accustomed to seeing this and becomes a lot more normalized but you have to remember that that's absolutely insane amc is being heavily heavily shorted and attacked and that's the reason why it is reacting the way it is you could clearly see that there was an attack a short ladder a miniature short ladder attack that happened right over here where amc tested at 33 dollars and 50 cents uh, it ended up closing around there and it tested the line of resistance right over there. There are many, many lines of resistance just around there that AMC has been touching and testing. And that actually is very, very good at the same time, because if anything, it shows that we are winning. We are actually still winning. Remember, guys, we look back at the six month chart overall amc is still up the short positions came when it was about 10 to 8 dollars a share that's when the hedge funds created these positions and we are still up and winning the war you may be down on your money i truly truly understand in fact i'm down i did dollar cost average and a little bit upward from when i initially invested and my my average price would be around the 38 maybe 36 dollar range somewhere around there that's my average and yeah i mean i i totally understand because if you're down on your money it's frustrating it's tough but i kid you not guys there are many many bullish bullish indicators so one of the bullish indicators would be the utilization of the stock that's approaching the 100 dollars range when it, utilization goes up and becomes a lot harder for lenders to lend out shares and it limits their ability to do that which makes it a lot more bullish in the future that's a really really good sign for the apes as utilization has been going up and it's also a really really good sign for uh something bad to happen to short sellers so to speak because they do not like utilization going up now i want to talk about something really really interesting okay the motley fool has an article that says eight reasons amc entertainment can be held amc can head back to its february low and that is very very interesting they just released this article a few days ago and they're saying that amc is probably going to go down you know there's so much fud out there so let me let me tell you something really interesting okay back in the month of march the motley fool said amc entertainment has a new price target one cent could movie theater chain amc lose 99.9 percent .9 of its value in the next 12 months well do you guys believe amc is going to go down to one cent considering that the hedge funds are pushing it so low as much as they can and they barely got it as low as the 30 dollar range and that's sad i understand it's frustrating but look is that really how we're going to look at this situation really 
So they were clearly wrong about this. They said it's going to go down to one cent and it's on the verge. And I do not see that happening. I'm super, super bullish on AMC. We've done our due diligence. We know that the shorts have not covered their positions. But look at what the same guy actually mentioned. He said eight reasons AMC can head back. And I want you to note the mainstream media is saying this. They've been bashing the stock for so long. They think AMC is a total joke. And I'm telling you guys, AMC is not a joke. We've done our due diligence with the short interest to going up. The fact that these hedge funds are borrowing so many shares, getting into so much debt to bring it down. And yeah, I know there are some hedge funds that are buying AMC just like you and I. They want There's a couple of them that are on our sides, but there are also a lot of them such as Citadel, which are doing the opposite. And they are still shorting the stock horribly. They want AMC to crash. You can see from the short interest going up, they are doing what they can to bring it down. So I have to tell you something. So what I like to bring up other people such as Peter Hahn and other analysts and what they say about AMC because it's very important that we know this. So look at what Charles Payne, the legend Charles Payne just tweeted on his Twitter. He stated that up too early, too much on mind, but I've been loving short squeezes for three decades and cannot wait for the mother of all short squeezes. The Moaz Charles Payne is on the same, same terms as us. He believes that there's going to be a Moaz. He's obviously confirmed it. He's, I mean, this is very, very credible evidence because Charles Payne is not just some random guy out there talking about random things he is a former stock broker he is obviously has his own show the man is extremely knowledgeable he has actually led companies to going ipo in the past he knows the game extremely well he knows what he's talking about and when he says this when he says that he's waiting for the moas that is huge 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 news that is another piece of confirmation that amc has massive massive potential for the future okay like you don't have to believe every single youtuber out there you could believe charles Payne for pete's sake okay that's a big big bullish sign and that's the reason why i'm still bullish in the long term for amc i see a massive massive potential and once again the simple thing is as short interest goes up the shorts have not covered their positions and i'm still very very bullish now in the short term i think amc is not just going to have a huge breakout immediately i think it's going to take time it has to build momentum so for monday i see amc testing around the 33 dollar range because and it may drop as low as 32, but I, I'm just saying this because Mondays tend to be down days for AMC. They tend to be that way, and it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be bad. But for the rest of the week, I see AMC maybe jumping and jumping and jumping and possibly testing the $37 range and touching the 38 before consolidating around the 36. I see that slowly st stair-stepping its way up. Now, do I believe in the squeeze? And my answer to that is yes. I do not believe that pieces of regulation are going to cause it. I believe the squeeze is going to be caused by shorts covering their positions and the short interest and utilization going up of AMC. Those play the biggest roles in my opinion. And if you want AMC to squeeze, just like Charles Payne said, he's waiting for the squeeze too. Uh, Charles Payne is very credible and we are just going to wait and be strong so i hope you all have a wonderful weekend i hope you have a good sunday and i just want you all to know that we are working together we are strong and we are going to win you just have to be patient you have to buy and hold and just wait it out i'm telling you guys I can't give financial advice, but I'm just telling you based off my due diligence that I am still bullish on AMC. I still see a big, big breakout in the future, in the future, in the upcoming weeks, if not a month or so away, I do see a breakout. It may not happen immediately. It may make you feel sad, but it's okay, guys, because you have to put your emotions aside and you cannot give up. We are so far in and we are going to win. So thank you so much for listening, guys. I will see you on Monday and I really, really hope you have a great weekend you stay strong amc is going to pluto and peace out